This is a, a quick setup on the XR16. I mean, mainly some of these videos I, I see, um, they don't go through it stage by stage. So um, I'm going to put this together and hopefully it helps somebody. Right, XR16, this is just for me audio. Let's just go to the audio player. Just when we get the iPad up and running, you'll see that running. Um, you can see I plug the XR16 in. Uh, I usually do this at gigs. Uh, I plug it in first. I don't even bother plugging the Apple thing in yet, but I'm going to show you the way to do it. So that's on. Now I'm going to plug the Apple thing in. You know, so here we go. I plug that in, and um, it'll go. Light will go green when it's when it's ready. Okay, and then when it's ready, on, on the back here. Let's see if we can focus on this. You see the two arrows, right? Not the odd, but the two arrows. That's where I'm going to plug in the little Ethernet card. And then I'm going to plug that from the two arrows. And I'm going to plug that into here, Ethernet. I'm going to make sure this switch, this switch is a three way switch. I always make sure it's switched right over on the Ethernet. Okay. Uh, so I'll just wait for that. Rooted the boot up. Has it gone green yet? Yep, yeah, it's gone green. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'll just put this phone down because I'm going to put this into the arrows, chink, and then the other end is going to go in here. So give us a second. I'm going to plug in this one this way. This one's that cable is a bit tight. Where are we? <laughs> looking through the phone. Okay, little light on the side. I'll be flashing. And then it start flashing, it'll load up or it'll connect or give give its signal to the um, the router, Apple router. Sometimes, and, and this might happen in a minute when I show you uh, on the iPad, when I'm going to actually connect, my iPad won't see the XR16. Uh, so all I'll do is I'll close the iPad app and then I'll take out the Ethernet cable, I'll plug it back in and then that usually does it. Okay, I'll go get the iPad and then we'll see if that, that happens. Yeah, we, we got the iPad and um, we have the app. There it is, the XR app there. So we're just going to kick this open. Lost connection. Connection lost, select another XR mixer. Right, so. And it's, and as you see, it's gone. Uh, for some reason, um, it doesn't see it. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this cable out of here. Right, and then we're just going to plug it back in. Let it do whatever it wants to do, reboot or whatever it does. I don't know. And then uh, we'll see. Well, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Right, give us a second. I'll tell you what's wrong, right? You see here, I forgot to disconnect the Wi-Fi, the house Wi-Fi. So it obviously um, is looking at the house Wi-Fi and it's not looking uh, where it should. So in the settings, and let's see, Wi-Fi. Yeah, right, Wi-Fi. And you can see that there. Okay, X out. It's connected. Okay, so we come back out of that. And then we go back to here. There it is. Bing. And you see it loads up. Okay. Press that. And there she is. She'll load up in a minute. She's missing faders at the moment. 
<laughs> How can you do anything without faders? I'm glad I'm glad he's doing this because um it's um it was okay on the last gig um when I shut it down. Um the gig before that uh had massive problems uh, with it disconnecting. And as you see, it's uh, it's not quite happy. So what we'll do, this is great this, because you may have these problems. We'll shut the app down. Um, we'll now take this back out of here. Okay, I've undone that again. And now I'm gonna plug that back in. There we go. I'm hoping that the light flashes on and off and it does what it's going to do. There it goes. And try again. Still got no faders like, have I? Which is strange, you know. Just shut that down again. I might have to reboot my iPad here. Well, it's got everything but faders. Well, I've got a fader there. Oh, there's, oh, there's some faders, look. Back to me. Ah, there's the faders. Now, it's never done that before with me. So, as you can see, if it does it with you, just click on your buses. Go to your buses. And then come back to your main. And it loads. Okay. So, it's loaded in. This is on Wi-Fi set up. Um, so what I'm going to do, prove it actually, it actually does work. I'm going to play, just sort of track on the iPod thingy effort. And uh, you can see we have output there. Um, if we go here, there we go. Right, so that, that's Wi-Fi connected. Um, so some of the things there um, to remember, even me to <laughs> remember, is the Wi-Fi. Make sure you're actually connected to the Wi-Fi Apple router. Mine was stuck on the house one, so it didn't see it straight away um, and decided that um, it kicked me off. Um, it's important to know when we go hardwired which I'm going to do um, in another video shortly. Um, that basically you make sure the Wi-Fi is turned off on whatever you're going to hardwire to the XR16. Anyway, um, I hope that helps and I hope you aren't confused. Uh, and if you are, I'll see if I can do one which simplifies it. Okay, so quite simply, Plug the XR in, plug your router in, then cable up and over into, so that was from my, I'll just put it this way and see if you can see it, you probably can't see it. There are the two arrows on the back, out which this is the LAN port, then into the XR, then boot up, yeah. Uh, iPad, make sure that you are connected to uh, the router uh, that you're using and uh, then open the XR app and you should be fine. If you find like me there was faders missing, just go down your buses um, and come back to it and it should load in fine. Some kind of glitch somewhere, don't know why, I don't know how, but I hope that helps you. Okay, let's do one where we're going to hardwire a laptop and then we're gonna have the actual iPad on Wi-Fi, which I think is the majority of time for people. Okay, cheers.